Moin Moin, hello and welcome to another episode of Delta Wolf. I'm glad you switched on. But I'm just doing the introduction of this video and the following you are going to listen to my wife's voice. So have fun and enjoy and stay healthy. Bye. Hello, also from my side. In this video we want to show you a comparison between the Trustmaster T300RS and the Fanatec CSL Elite Wheelbase. Since you might not know my husband, I'm going to start by telling you a few things about him and the Formula 1 league he's driving in. He has been driving for two years in an F1 league, currently in the so-called F1 revolution. They all drive there with a PlayStation and the drivers come from various countries like Norway, Austria, Poland and like my husband from Germany. The league was founded one year ago and consists of three driving aid leagues and three sim leagues. Live transmissions including commentators are standard for the F1 revolution and there are additional highlight videos. New drivers are of course welcome. The motivation for my husband to create this comparison video of the two steering wheels was that he did not find a nice comparison in German. He was wondering whether it was worth to make the change from Trustmaster to Fanatec. Because of the call numbers and the feedback to the German video asking for an English version, we decided to add this version. My husband drove with the Trustmaster T300RS for one year and he was getting faster and faster. He drove almost every day, but it was not always enough to reach one of the top positions. Especially in controlling the accelerator and the brake he was getting better and better, but he felt that a limit was reached. So he was asking himself whether a Fanatec steering wheel would help him to get even faster. This seems to be the motivation for a lot of Fanatec customers. After receiving the Fanatec steering wheel, he decided to create this video to present you the steering wheel and tell you his opinion whether the change is worth it or not. At the beginning of the video he included a nice little unboxing video to show you what's in the box from Fanatec. Besides the base and the steering wheel, there are also operating instructions both in English and German. Cables and pedals are also included. Regarding the pedals, I would like to say that they are very high quality. With the Trustmaster T300RS, my husband had the simple version. In Germany, there is also a higher quality version available of the Trustmaster. It is called T3PA and costs a little more than 100 Euro. My husband already thought about buying a Fanatec steering wheel before buying the T3PA. The difference is enormous, especially with respect to the brakes, since the resistance is much bigger. For a direct comparison, you will later on see my husband driving with the Trustmaster T300RS and with the Fanatec CSL Elite side by side. For this comparison, he is driving in Melbourne, Australia. Regarding the Trustmaster T300RS, my husband says that he was basically satisfied with it. In his opinion, you can be a bit faster than with a pad. So the change from pad to steering wheel T300RS is definitely worth it. There should definitely be a difference between your achievements if you invest the same amount of time for training using the pad and the Trustmaster steering wheel. Especially in the rain, it is much more comfortable to drive with the steering wheel, but that also might just be a matter of taste. Before showing the video sequence with a direct comparison, you can see a short video sequence showing the conversion from T300RS to Fanatec. Delta Wolf is driving in a play seat, which he bought two years ago. Both steering wheels can be attached, but the Fanatec is a bit more complicated with the play seat. With the Trustmaster, the installation was much easier. After doing a lot of research for the Fanatec steering wheel, my husband found a solution how to mount it at the play seat without slipping at the pedals. There were no problems with the steering wheel, only with the pedals. He bought M6 x 20mm round head screws in a package, so screws, plates and the nuts. Like this, it was possible to attach the pedals to the metal plate. Driving the two steering wheels feels quite different. The Fanatec steering wheel gives the driver more feedback. If the rear end breaks away, you can feel it because the steering resistance is lower and you know immediately that you should step off the gas to prevent the rear end from breaking away. The brake and the gas are much more sensitive due to the higher resistance. After changing, Delta Wolf had no major problems getting used to the new steering wheel. He noticed that he was relatively fast after only a short period of time needed for getting used to it. In the direct comparison, everything about the Fanatec steering wheel feels a little bit more valuable. So the price is definitely worth it in this regard. You spend more money, but you also feel a higher quality. With the steering wheel, for example, you don't have to work with the screw anymore. Furthermore, the Fanatec wheel has so-called quick release system. This means that you can change the steering wheels relatively quickly. In our case, this happens just rarely. But nevertheless, you can already notice the higher quality workmanship.
The Fanatec steering wheel is made of Alcantara, that feels very high quality. The rockers are completely made of metal and you have the possibility to choose between 5 different steering wheel setups that you can store. At the end of this video I would like to show you the fastest lap in direct comparison, which my husband drove with the Trustmaster and with the Fanatec. You might be able to see that my husband felt a bit more comfortable with the Fanatec. You can also see which lap time was a bit shorter. In the direct comparison you can see on the left side the lap time using the Trustmaster T300 RS and on the right side correspondingly the Fanatec CSL Elite. To give you a conclusion the change between the two steering wheels was successful and fulfilled the expectations. My husband did not expect himself to be able to drive similar lap times with the Fanatec as with the Trustmaster in such a short time after the change. My husband drove about 30 laps with the Trustmaster T300 RS two weeks before he got the Fanatec. Then he took a break from driving for two weeks. After those two weeks he went on with the Fanatec. It didn't take long, only about two hours until he was able to achieve the same lap times as with the Trustmaster. The more you practice, the faster you get. Delta Wolf thinks that after all you can be faster with the Fanatec than with the Trustmaster. But in his opinion this is not a question of seconds but rather of tenths. But that is already worth it in a race with 100% race length. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just write them in the comments. Thanks for watching.